This is Steve Richards, who has just been let out of prison after kidding his best mate. But another one of his mates has saved him both a garage, a bike club and some others to make a bit of money. This will be his journey from the rags to the riches. Once we've done the cutscenes, we're going straight into the money making. I will see you then. We are just finishing completing the stuff that you have to do on UK Online to access the normal things. And then we will be heading into the money making. Steve is looking around his motorcycle club and realising this is where he can earn some money and finally fulfil the richest name that his dad left for him when he was killed. He will name his motorcycle club Riches Repairs. Steve has also left a counterfeit cash factory which was also one of the main factors of his dad's success. Steve has set up his business and we'll start selling counterfeit, uh, counterfeit cash as soon as possible. Now he has something else to do. He doesn't know what it is, but he will get it done. Steve has to collect supplies for his counterfeit cash business, which he isn't especially happy with, but he, has to, he knows what the grind is to earn as much money as his dad did. Steve has now delivered the product and his counterfeit cash factory has now started and he can see where the production area is and where everything will be for when he starts up his business. He knows this will be what makes him rich. Now we have finished all of the cutscenes, I can explain what this series is all about. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be starting from, well, $410 uh, and we're going to be trying, up, trying to make our way to the top with Steve Riches and that you'll see every so often some things about his storyline but at the moment we've got we've finished all the cutscenes so we can start to make some money so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to head to the casino because Hello. when you're at, when you're at the casino you get a daily prize and that daily prize can be a vehicle money or even XP which could help get me to a higher level for flight school and that sort of stuff which gets a lot of money and also I'm going to be looking when looking out for when a customer's bike has arrived at my clubhouse because that means that I can repair the bike and uh, give it back to the customer and the first delivery is $150,000 so yeah looking to get some of that done by the end of this episode but this is all just about getting the hang of things with Steve Richards so I'll see you once I'm at the casino. After the longest cutscene on earth, we can finally spin the wheel. Wait, yep, yeah, there we go. Oh, wait, what? Oh, we have to we have to have five hundred dollars to buy the casino membership. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go to the cashier, get my free one thousand tokens, go on the slot machines. And until we get, actually, we can just go like this. Trade in chips. Maximum. There we go. And then there we go. One point one thousand four hundred and ten. So now we can spin the wheel. Here we go. Okay, this is long. I'll get to you once I've actually figured out how to spin it. Oh no, here we go. Press to buy now. Spin the lucky wheel. All right, let's go. Oh, what are we gonna get? Oh, we have got ten thousand XP, which is not bad at all. That takes us up to level seven. No, eight. That's that's good. There we go. I'm gonna go on the um, slot machines, and I'll once I've used up all this money or made a profit, I'll let you know. Okay, we're at the casino. We lost all of our money, and the first thing we're gonna do 
is we are going to head up to our today's stash house. Each day you get a stash house, and what you have to do, you have to go inside, kill all the people inside, um, steal, well, steal all the money from the safe, escape the area, and then you receive the amount of money for today. Usually it's around 30,000, so that would be a good starting point, so we can at least afford some guns if we see the gun van or something like that. And soon we'll be able to get some good stuff going. Hopefully, in the meantime, we'll get a motorcycle arriving at our clubhouse. And then we're going to go do some business at the Counterfeit Cash Factory. So, I'll see you once we're at the stash house and then we'll start the mission. We've made it to, to the stash house. We've got our grenades out. Because we spent all of the m money we had from purchasing stuff. Um, on grenades and some other explosives, so we've got to take out the dealer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw some grenades in. That's one. Okay, it killed me in the process. I did not stand far enough away from the grenade. Luckily, it spawns you right. It respawns you right back outside the stash house. That's the good thing about it. It doesn't really matter if you die. Obviously, you prefer not to. And that grenade killed every single one of them so what next uh, what you have to do is you have to look for a code to open the safe so you look around it's usually on some sort of surface or stuck on the wall so you just look around and you'll see it in a reasonable reasonable about of time usually it's just it's got um it's got a code of three numbers and it's usually easy to find but today i cannot seem to find it That's strange. Oh, here it is. The code is 442337. 442337. So you open it up, 44. So you go 442337. And then open it up and collect the contents so automatically you just chucked it in his pocket and you, you head up the stairs hop on your bike or your car get out of the area and it does it really doesn't take long you just keep keep riding your bike or driving it's it sets off an alarm so people will actually know you're there which is not a good thing but it's now I'm being shot so you've got to really sneak you've got to get out of this quite quickly. It's not particularly easy to get out usually. But here we are now. And you can see the red markers on your map. Oh the people trying to attack you. So you just get away from them. Just keep ducking their shots if you're on the bike and there you go. You get your amount of money. And actually because I'm part of a counterfeit cash factory, all of it goes to my counterfeit cash factory. So I'm going to head over there, get some of the money, and I'll be back when I've done so. Okay, and we're back at the factory after a slight, some slight struggles with crossing the water and actually getting here. But apart from that, it's going fine. The value of all of this is 10850 I don't know how, I don't know what's happened, I don't know what we've been doing here, I don't, I don't really understand this too much. I, on my actual account, on my main account, I chose the nightclub, because I know how that works. This is very confusing. Sell all the stock. 16,000. There we go. And that is how much money we're on. That's it, we're on 16,000. Now we have, to enter okay. a boat. we have to enter a boat, make some deliveries. Oh gosh. Well, I say we do this next time. So, Steve, Steve Richards makes his way six, seven miles. Um, well, next time he will do that because this is a very long task for one episode. So we're going to pull over here.
Steve's gonna get out. Gonna. He's gonna. He's gonna put on his hel put on a helmet or something. I don't know. Well, actually, we're just gonna end it there. So that was today's episode. Quite a short one, but it's just an introduction to Steve Riches, the Rags to Riches, and it's a bit confusing to me too. So I'm gonna do some research on how to do all this, and next episode we'll do some of it. So I will see you in the next episode. Hopefully, in not too long. Goodbye. It's my first GTA video, so thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.